What's good, YouTube? I'm Zero Zeus, and welcome back to another Baruto video. This is gonna be my Baruto manga chapter 45 review. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching. And let's get right into the video. I know this is like a little weird. It's, it's different than the way that I usually do the videos, but I had to kind of do it different because for whatever reason, the internet just been hit with the, I don't know, the whoop dee scoop this week. So, anyway let's jump right into the chapter because there's a lot to be talked about it's definitely a lot to be talked about my boy amato he just goes at, um knee deep in what he needs to say like he goes really deep and he explains a lot about a couple of things that you know everybody's been kind of wondering about and it's like some things answered even though i'm still like blah but i'll get to what i'm talking about so basically they start off and you know, it's still the same shit situation. Like, Shikadai is strapped with a bomb. It has a bomb strapped across his neck. And this is a really tense situation. And, you know, at this moment, it's like Amato. At the same time, even though he's using him as insurance, he's, like, kind of using him to see what type of person the Hokage is, right, too, at the same time. And, you know, he, like, actually quotes the fact that, he really cared about this one single lowly Ganine, right? And I like, I like how he said that. Like, yeah, that is. Like, you wouldn't expect somebody so big and somebody so powerful that to care about somebody so small, right? And basically, they're, like, negotiating. They're, like, uh, they're trying to see if they could give him shelter and stuff away from jigging and stuff well they're trying to see if they can work up to the point of making the decision to do that but they have to hear a story first and i like how naruto just played that big like he he was he was the leader in the midst and like he was the he was the leader i, I like that I, I you could just sense that in shigamaru even though i never pay him any attention i'll always give him shit but i'm gonna give him i'm gonna give him a plus that this chapter like <clears throat> he almost had it, uh, but I'm gonna explain. Uh, I'm just gonna let, let, let the, the story flow first. Um, so basically, Naruto is breaking down. You know, like he, they're not gonna do anything shysty or anything, nothing like that. But like he shouldn't do anything like that either. It wouldn't be in his best interest or in their best interest, right? And you know, they, they okay, they take him in, they get deeper into the interrogation, and he starts to spill the beans a little bit, and he starts to explain how Jigen is an Otsutsuki, but he wasn't originally an Otsutsuki, and it's not Jigen's plan, I don't think, originally, for the chakra fruit, it's like the Otsutsuki inside of him, and I don't know, but that is like that's pretty much stuff that we already know. I'm not gonna lie about that. It's like some things, like the God Tree. One thing we didn't already know was that the Ten Tails was something different. It's like for whatever reason, it's different than um, the Juby that they were fighting. Um, so I don't know how and in what way, but you know that's like something different. And um, he starts to explain how you know. The Otsutsuki are a race who, you know, they, they do this. They they go and they devour planets and they move on to the next one. And, you know, he basically explains to them in deeper meaning what that means. Because, I mean, you know what that means. But, you know, in all anime, they just have to explain what they already explained like a million times, right? Um, but I, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Um, so he's basically explaining to them how... The, 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 what he's explaining to them, what the Otsutsuki do to other planets, he's definitely trying to do it to this planet. Um, he already has the seedling, which is basically the Ten Tails, which we already know that, but we never really heard them say it in that context, like call him that, really call him that. But yeah, he kind of, yeah, he, he fits the bill. He's the seedling. I, I can definitely see that. Um, <clears throat> okay, now this is when I have to, we're in the, um, so now they're inside and like i think he's complaining about getting a cigarette or something and like shikamaru just chokes him up and put him all on the wall and stuff and i'm just like whoa what, what did this guy just whoa <laughs> he just like, like i don't know he just went ham for a second like <laughs> i just wasn't expecting that expecting that right and it like naruto said that's like kind of out of character for him but that is his son that is his son and you know amato looking at him and he kind of like try to play him a little bit because it's sad you like it's something he said it's like sad you look at your son 
only as a son. Like, I don't know if he wanted him to look at him as a soldier at the same time or what he meant. But it's something like that. It's something like that he was heading towards. And Naruto basically has to calm Shikamaru down, talk him away from it. And, you know, Naruto just being the OG in this situation. I don't know. Just keeping everything from bubbling over because they need the information from this guy you don't need to blow up beat him up and kill him and stuff or anything like that before they get the actual information right so you know they basically you know explain all this stuff that i was explaining before but i just had to you know explain how shikamaru was being savage for a couple of seconds like he just up and I, I wasn't expecting that i think that was like really cool um, so at the same time, now we're going to go back to Jigen and Cash and Koji. So at the same time, these guys, they're, they're, they're in here talking. And it's like they're casually sitting down. And Jigen just sees, he, he asks Cash and Koji to come in here and sit down casually. Like it's nothing going on. And, you know, they start talking about how the airships and one of them were sabotaged and stuff like that. Like you could just look at, like the panel closes in on Cash and Koji eyes like the way that he looks like he already knows he or he knows he already knows but you know like you could just tell um and he still tries to deny it a little bit but you know basically he just you know come out in the open say what you got to say out in the open tell me why you decided to betray me like this and i'm just looking at this guy like he is definitely a chill villain <laughs> and like and don't get me wrong he's a bad guy but he's definitely a chill villain he's like yeah i, I just want to hear you out uh, let me let me know why you and amato have betrayed me right he already knows about amato i think that was like yeah that's crazy too um but anyway so like in the midst of them talking you would think that since he's just asking them so nicely right you know that he would just comply but no that's not the case and he tries to lunge for him and next thing you know, like, I, I think, like, Jiggin ends up behind him somehow, and he just gets impaled with all these chakra rods. And it's like a shadow clone, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's, I think it's a shadow. But anyway, um, basically, it gets blown up. And, you know, Catch and Koji didn't get hit, but, you know, this is a fight. For hopefully, because I was saying last chapter that this would be the chapter that we get to fight hopefully next chapter we get to fight um because it's looking like it's gonna be pretty hype because i thought my boy Kaj and koji would be one and done but no he's not and that, i think that's pretty cool um and Kaj and koji isn't one i mean Jigen isn't one and done either but um anyway back we we're gonna flip back to, to the other side of the story right because that's kind of where their story ends right um Bruto and the others, they're basically still talking to Amato, and he just, like I said, he spilt all the beans, and they are kind of educated a little bit more on that space, and he explains to Sasuke again, you know, it's like, he tells Sasuke about how he was the one that placed that information there, and like, you know, just letting them know that he's been on their side a little bit longer than they think, and he goes on, like, Jigen and Cash and Koji are having this moment where, that, like, they're meeting each other, having this confrontation, but they're using his toad, and somehow he's using his glasses and Cash and Koji's toad to, like, show them a projection, and they can kind of see what's going on, and see how, I guess he was using this to show that this is proof that we're really defecting away from him, so, you know, it's like, that's like some hellify proof, um, And if I'm not mistaken, they go back to Cash and Koji and stuff. And, you know, they say a couple more things. And that's basically the end of the chapter. But it's like a lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff happened. And, you know, they make a reference to how, well, Katasuke makes a reference to how, hey, I'm like, if they do actually accept this offer and do what he's talking about and everything goes, it goes as, as planned, then I can actually go talk to him and I can get the technology and stuff like that, right? Um, and Sumiri kind of gets mad at him a little bit and he's like, hey, Doc, and, you know, Kawaki's arm and stuff like that, basically. And, you know, either there she go over there, like, Kawaki, 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 but I don't know. Um, anyway, I think I, I'm in it right there. I've been talking enough. Man, I hate to just not have my videos the way that I usually have them, but I kind of have to deal today just today we're gonna try to do something about it 
you know so next week weekend this will be totally different but um anyway this has been my Baruto manga chapter 45 review please like subscribe share and comment thank you for watching